This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Now let us study comparison uh, between clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. So the first point is the temperature range. Obviously, the clinical thermometer it has a very short temperature that is from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Whereas the laboratory thermometer, it has a large temperature range that is from minus 10 degrees Celsius to plus 110 degrees Celsius, isn't it? Yes. And the second point is the clinical thermometer has a kink on its tube to prevent the backflow of mercury into the bulb, isn't it? We saw that constriction. Whereas in laboratory thermometer, there is no such constriction. Because unless we read the temperature, we will not remove that laboratory thermometer from the object, isn't it? Whereas in clinical thermometer, we will remove it from the mouth, then we read so that that constriction is needed in order to get the exact correct temperature of human body. And the third point is, the clinical thermometer measures temperature more accurately up to 0.1 degrees Celsius than a laboratory thermometer which means if the temperature is 10.1 uh, degrees celsius it measures accurately up to 0.1 degrees celsius whereas this laboratory temperometer is accuracy is uh, less than this clinical thermometer okay so these are the important uh, you no know, differences we can say between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer okay now let us study what is this uh, digital thermometers see most of the common thermometers are mercury thermometers which use a liquid metal called mercury for the working isn't it but this mercury it is a very toxic substance poisonous and hence it is very difficult to display you know to dispose of uh, safely if a thermometer breaks so that we must uh, take care about that isn't it we should dispose it uh, carefully with all safety because it's very poisonous so there is a lot of concern over the use of mercury in thermometers so in order to uh, solve this problem nowadays we are uh, using these digital thermometers in this digital thermometers, there is uh, no use of mercury. It works without mercury. So in order to avoid the problems which are caused by this mercury, we are switching to these digital thermometers. So another important uh, concept is maximum and minimum thermometer. What is this maximum and minimum thermometer? See, the maximum temperature of the day usually reaches in the afternoon, whereas minimum temperature obviously in the early morning, isn't it? So, in weather forecasting, in other some uh, meteorological work, it is necessary to know the highest as well as the lowest temperatures reached in the surroundings during a whole day. So there is a special thermometer, we call it as a maximum and minimum thermometer. So this thermometer, it automatically records the maximum and, temp and minimum temperatures of the day. So if you use this thermometer, automatically we will come to know what was the maximum temperature of that particular day and what, is, what, the, what was the minimum temperature. Okay, you can see maximum marker and minimum marker. It is used in weather forecasting and even some meteorological work where we require the maximum temperature as well as minimum temperature in a day. Okay. Now let us study important uh, concept that is transfer of heat. See, to carry heat from uh, one part of an object to its another part or from one object to another object, we call it as transfer of heat, isn't it? If you transfer heat from one body to the another or from one part of the object to the another part, then we call it as transfer, isn't it? 
So we already know this, that is heat flows from a hot object to a cold object. Or in other words, we can say heat flows from an object at high temperature to another object which is at low temperature, isn't it? Yes. And uh, as I already told you, heat can be transferred to a body in uh, three different ways. So there are three different ways for transferring heat from one body to another. So those three methods are uh, one is by conduction one is by convection and one is by radiation okay so these are the uh, three methods using which heat can be transferred usually in solids heat is transferred by conduction okay in liquids and gases heat is uh, usually transferred by convection Okay, and in empty space or vacuum, in that case, uh, heat is transferred by radiation. So, these are the three important methods uh, using which heat can be transferred. 